Halloween is in peril. So we assembled the most feared team here at Halloween Town University to save it. Jack Skellington, Zero, and transfers like John Wick, Michael Myers, The Boogeyman, Count Dracula, and many more bolster this all-time great lineup. The roster is stacked. All these guys were granted one year of extra eligibility to protect the holiday. Who is threatening it, you may ask? The SEC, the Society to Erase Celebration. If Coach Scary Sponge can't run the SEC and win the national championship this year, Halloween will cease to exist. Five spooky challenges we must abide by to successfully complete this video. Number one, Phantom Possession. We must start each game down 14 to zero before taking control. Number two, Phantom Calls. SEC referees are gonna be twice as likely to throw the flag. Number three, Fog of War. I can't call the same play twice. Number four, I need a player to have one of the best seasons of all time, striking fear into the opposition, win that Heisman. Last but not least, we have to win a national championship and there'll be extra spooky challenges if we get that far. If I can't complete all these challenges in the first season, then I'll have to give away a copy of College Football 25 to a random subscriber that comments down below. And so far on the Heisman watch list, four of our guys are there, plus Travis Hunter. Talk about a scary good team with a scary start against the spirit of the 12th man. And ooh, these uniforms are spooky cool. Especially some of these alternates, they got the cool patchwork here, blackout Halloween. And here we go, it's a rainy one on the black turf starting off with the ball but you know the phantom possession rule so we're just gonna pitch this thing into the middle next week and let texas a&m score i won't show you this every game but since i have to do it to give up the phantom possessions i just run the field goal defense and they can easily just walk their way down there without any trouble whatsoever now that we're down by two plus possessions we mean business here got the one play limit jack skellington seven foot quarterback stretching in he needed every last inch of that bony frame look at him score jack skellington scrambled out to his left made a mad dash what a bone horrific play on defense here i'm playing as the boogeyman and you do not want to get in his way it just won't go your way and another thing that's not really going texas a&m's way is anything the comeback is alive and well that was jet frankenstein's first collegiate touchdown jack to the right dashing and delivering toe drag i think this challenge is actually easier than i had in mind dodged with another touchdown but there's a flag on the play could this be a phantom call it will first in 20 no big deal let's just throw a one-on-one -on -one ball fade to zero skeleton reunites with his trusty dog so yeah we already got the lead this is gonna be a bit easier than i thought i'm always open to a mid video challenge buff we might have to go to a three touchdown deficit now that we have the lead and we're at the one i'm gonna let michael myers do his thing gonna hand it off he actually gets stuffed is that a safety i say we keep pounding that hole myers up the gut and now that we got out of the end zone area i'm gonna let skellington do his thing just takes off has a lane has a block has a couple blocks i put michael myers out there at receiver didn't really see him get open texas and him clamped definitely gonna be rare to say those words what's not gonna be rare to say is there's a flag on the play it looks like this one's actually gonna help us out why not let it fly sacked shoot let's spice it up i think freddy krueger could be the right play here what an awful throw hold on another flag there are gonna be so many of these texas a ms really shooting themselves in the foot when they keep doing that but as time expires here in the first half we're gonna hurry up let the clock expire and get nothing wasn't really worried about it for the second half i think i'll just dump it to michael myers and that's intercepted so jack skellington Made his first big mistake. Opening up the playbook for sure. We don't got a lot of variety. That didn't stop a thing though for our guys. Cruising to a victory. Strip sack, fumble, boogeyman coming in for it. And now let's see if we can feed the slasher. Hand off. Outside. Breaks a tackle. Another one. Ground or air. Michael Myers is going to get his chances and cash in all season long. Ice in his veins. He can feel it. Successful week one here. 42 16 really without a doubt one step closer to saving halloween really no surprise to me to have one of our guys up on the national player of the week panel symbiote carnage in the first game racked up four sacks and a fumble we've played less games than texas and georgia because of a bye but i'm surprised to see so many dogs and horns up in here already we'll keep a close eye on this panel as the season progresses it's the curse of the spear florida state in the second matchup a mystical shaman roamed the lands protecting his tribe of any danger from the outside florida state and the mystical spear are a dangerous threat that we need to watch out for but i think we can mitigate as you can tell down 21-0 we just cash in with frankenstein whoa here we come 
Jack Skellington and the flags phantom call take me back please or is it against us all right <laughs> i had a bad feeling about this challenge can't let dj ugalele blow us up not a chance we're gonna protect halloween town and not let their spear influence this game refs got a lot of money on this thing personal foul symbiote carnage roughed him up nothing scarier than roughing up a mcdonald's employee hand off again boogeyman and the defense swarm all over it wearing the sally patch all alternate jerseys. I'm taking control of Sally, yet of course another flag. This is gonna be insane. Skellington spreads them all out across the line here. He's gonna go over the middle right to the ref. Nah, but for real though, if you just spread them out and chuck one up to zero, there is zero chance that the defense will even be able to hang around. I might just need to go ahead and say every game hereafter will go down an additional seven points. Let's see how 28 feels in the next, because you all came here for a spooky good time and for one heck of a challenge throughout out this dynasty so let's make it a challenge jack skellington putting on the spins perfect play to call right here it's the salem splits just like the spooky salem massachusetts witch trials the name's wick john wick it is in to the defense's hands. All right, I'm doubling down, no more ints. It's crazy how cracked of a team we have and I still find some funny things to do like that last interception when we can just simply do easy stuff like that. Tie ball game, Skellington cashes in. Third and 15, a couple holding calls here and there held us back, but once again, Jack Skellington, agile, mobile, making everyone miss, looking like Quinshawn Judkins spinning. To me, this feels like John Wick territory, so let's go ahead and hit the man. Wick to the end zone. He's in touchdown lead Halloween Town coming alive. You could say it's on the line right here now or never for Florida State. All right, D, let's clamp big sack from Carnage. Can't stop the symbiote. DJ, just put the fries in the bag, man. The fate is on everything at hand and he's dropped for a safety you cannot escape this savage defense effectively locked them down after going down 21 0 38 to 21 so you know what next week the stakes are going up it's gonna start off with a 28 point deficit the curse of death valley the tigers are always fierce but this year something's different lingering in the air death valley has been cursed and the swamp around them is restless full of dark sorcery to break the curse we must survive the night come back from a 26 0 deficit and i'm gonna feed michael myers a whole lot this game if you need a real game changer a real killer one might say this is your guy just need the blocks to hold up here for my guy and walk it in crazy part to me was how easy it was to catch up no deficit is too much for us to overcome in fact i plan on fully rubbing this in why not sling this rock and let someone like zero give us the lead already oh yeah we're alive here in death valley don't take love off the table just yet jack skellington around the corner and he's gonna just walk it in nonchalantly trick or treat happy halloween get boned a few of my favorite sayings when halloween town is in town we'll just hand it off michael cuts it back right yes Sir, LSU Nation, what happened? That's two games in a row now that our defense has shut them down ever since going down 26-0. Joker with the pick. He wants a pick six. Stiff arm and get off me, boy. It's a joke right now. The Joker, ha <laughs> ha. Might have jinxed it just a little bit. Maybe I can get the onside recovery. Alien botches it, but he still has time to go back and recover. All those not worried about it, put your hands up. All in favor of another touchdown. I, the boogeyman is red hot and he wants to seek out his next claim here. Really? We gave that one up. It won't happen twice if Hamburglar has anything to say about it. Deep ball, Sally, incomplete and win. All we do is win, win, win. 55-32, let's go ahead and notch it up one more time. 35 point deficit in the next. Zero was electric on his five touches. Hey, so that was our first conference win against the SEC. Remember, it's the society to erase celebration and we're not about that. We have actually served two buys already, so I don't think we'll really have any more throughout the season. Here's a look, couple Texas guys still atop this list. Isaiah Bond just had 23 yards and 18 rushing yards against UL Monroe. I think that's gonna hurt his stock. Shoot, I must've been smoking something. I totally forgot 
forgot Texas A&M is a part of this conference, obviously. So we're 2-0 so far slaying the SEC, but it's a early season and there's still a lot of games left for a lot of great teams like Texas. Yes, it was only a matter of time until Count Dracula struck. Back in the saddle again in Halloween Town, we're taking on Bama and we're gonna have to go down 35 to zero in this one. If I were any other team at all, all that wasn't named Halloween Town, I would be scared to do this. In fact, it would just be downright foolish. But something is different about this year's Tide. They're not just the Roll Tide. In fact, they're not just the Crimson. They're the Crimson Shadows. Legendary Fallen Warriors have risen from their place to take a hold of Alabama and just gives them terrifying speed and strength. We're gonna have to go all out to survive this round. Here we go. Now the game has officially started down 35 to zero. Skellington is a player to watch, of course. Let's see here. Let's start this thing off with a handoff. Michael Myers up the gut. Really just want him to take this thing and go. Not sure why he's getting actually a little bit stifled here by the defense. Crazy to me that Ashton Gen team, my Boise State Bronco, is actually running it better than a video game that we can do. John Wick, though, you can't do better than that insane splash play get us right back into this thing john wick don't miss this is scary no pun intended we're down here by three touchdowns alabama put up another one but wait till zero gets involved alabama out here finding a way to clamp us down so we'll just drop it underneath the frankenstein gets a little burst spin and fight hold on Flag on the play. Hold on, hold on. Phantom call on the play. Killer. Wait, it was declined because Alabama thinks we'll just settle here on fourth and two. Yeah, right. You haven't met Jack Skellington in Halloween Town University. Shooting his bony third leg into the audience. Working ourselves out of this whole slip screen. Myers cutting through the shaft and here we are now down by a touchdown what a comeback it has been no doubt about it Kruger Freddy Kruger running some people over another flag is it against us holding again not only do we have to come back from 35 points the refs are just out to get us in this SEC and that's the first mistake Skellington's made all day hold on though another flag hey let's go okay I just got done flaming him he must have heard that and gave us another chance thanks for the new life one on one ball zero he is electric and that leads us to right here in the fourth quarter it's all tied up bama big bad bama fighting with some extra strength like i said they've come out of the crimson shadows for this game third and 16 frankenstein looks open to me good connection textbook let's see if anyone gets a boost right off the line they do it zero again i can just hit him in the corner all day long so nice i gotta hit it twice so the comeback has been completed here on our end Let's just see if we can finish out this game and walk away. Taking control of Count Dracula, sending him up the gut. Pressure came in hot. Flag on the play. Sally's just trying to chase down number one. Man, goodness, that guy's fast. Calls against us. We'll get some extra yards. I can feel the eerie tense in the air. Milrose looking to be a champ. Dracula looks to hold back his secondary and the troops come in. Third and goal from the 25. Penalties and a sack have pushed him back from what was a promising look. Good night. Huge sack into your mouth. Four to go for it on fourth and forever boogeyman and the team here are gonna close out and be your nightmare joker again having one heck of a defensive campaign we called the game 42 in the first quarter to our 49 that's gonna do it folks have you ever heard of the legend of the haunted tree yes stanford the cardinal they have a haunted el Pal palo alto redwood tree when no one is around for miles and miles in the forest they come alive pretty spooky stuff just like this deficit we're overcoming and truth be told it's not gonna take long or much to get past a 35-0 deficit. Look at the impressive work there from Skellington. My dude almost had it all. Busting a few people to get to this point over the middle into the hands of a tree. Still not really worried about the outcome of this game, but I am worried when stuff like that happens about our Heisman candidacy. More than likely, our best bet is to feed a receiver if we're still gonna win the award, because if you throw a little too many interceptions, you're not getting it. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and feed zero four six from penalties to fog of war to phantom possessions we're already tied back up in this game and i'll happily take the lead for our team here by scrambling with skelly and cutting it loose michael myers a running back out of the backfield going in 
receiver mode wants to get in on the fun slashing them down cardinal never stood a chance fourth and 23 is crazy out of this world what is he gonna do has all day long actually gets a man coming back holding to derail all those plans which became a safety that's odd they must have somehow ran out of room i didn't know that was even possible to go from a holding to a safety automatic. It's getting ugly in this game. Let's just get to the end. Y'all know what happened. Stanford heads home defeated. And the haunted tree is no more. We have usurped them. It's the Commodore's curse. Vandy is next up. And they have sunk us like a ship. A ghost pirate ship down 45-0. Skellington is going to have his toughest test yet. I don't necessarily think Vandy is like the hardest team on the docket, but this lead and this deficit is crazy. Let the air raid commence. Frankenstein in stride. Just needs to catch this thing and turn up, my boy. That was a crazy run. Let's go ahead and cap this thing off with a crazy dot. Low-key surprised that he could not hold on. We'll just take this lob ball to dodge and get out of Dodge City. For gonna be able to sink the commodores we're gonna need all hands on deck coming down to the final minute in the second quarter skeleton surveys drops the lob into john wick what a snag oh wait who thought of the phantom call challenge not me oh but he's got a burst that is gonna take care of that frankenstein feed my frankenstein it's feeding time for our frankenstein come on baby loki shout out to the db that was covering him because he had him on clamps there not this time. Frankenstein breaking through. Come on. Fourth quarter comeback. Drop it to Michael Myers. Break a free. Keep it going. Oh, my goodness. Oh. If he somehow got out of that for six, I would have lost my marbles. I'm not going to lie. This combination of field and jerseys is actually kind of difficult to read out. But that was not going to go any way but six. Had touchdown written all over it. 45-0. Now it is 45-45. Masterclass defense holding back Vandy. Not giving up anything more. And here's a punt return out to are right it's really hard to see like i said i don't know if it's the lighting or what so i'm just gonna take a shot to zero touchdown that's the lead can't guard us nothing more satisfying than squishing them out not giving them a chance to put up any points and that'll do 52 45 led by the jack comeback i'm not sure what's crazier our spectacular comebacks or the fact that we're not at the top in total offense in fact we're in third place for passing yards third place for rushing yards second place for passing touchdowns and third place for rushing at least our defense is elite number one and negative 176 rushing yards allowed that is actually absurd 37 sacks this defense is the definition of fear halfway through the season time for us to reflect a smooth six and oh and now we got Navy, who in real life are a really, really good team. It's actually crazy to see Navy and Army do so well. I love to see it, but unfortunately, they're just a roadblock in the path. The Phantom Fleet of Navy has sunk us 41-0, and we're off to the races once more. Skellington to Frankenstein breaking a tackle. Dude, it is not even fair. Touchdown. On another note, we're back on green grass. It's been a minute. A little bit different now that I got used to the black turf. Look at Skellington on the run to zero. Get around the corner and he scores. I can't believe he twisted and turned. Oh man, these phantom calls. All it does is help this phantom fleet and they didn't need any more help out here. And don't look now, Jack Skellington has his team down by a lot. It's already the two minute drill here in the second quarter. Maybe Michael Myers will get us on the board with a quick score and that he will. He's just standing there menacingly. Clock is ticking down down we're not settling for three we're gonna get a last minute score who's it gonna be how are we gonna get it what was that absolute atrocity of a pass that was actually scary bro i kid you not i'm actually getting scared that we might drop a game here to navy so michael get around that corner yes sir no wait this is freddy krueger in krueger oh he scored spooktacular my friend we're cooked this is gonna sink us man i think it's time we go ahead and settle for the onside kick hope we can get it no absolute thriller to 
the end here. Final two minutes of football. Navy has added another layer of difficulty in this game. My money's on the flex bone in the unique military style defense. Third and 17, burning our timeouts and making the tackle. That's fourth. Needed every single second in this game. Let's see if we can go ahead, get a strike play here to Michael Myers. He looks open and he could be out of there in one play in a spin. Michael Myers does not get tired when in pursuit of his next victim. He's getting the next touch. Yeah, it's coming back. Now first and 20, Skeleton does a spin and spins back around again. All that really proved was to be a big time consumer. Now we got to find results. This is nerve wracking. 30 seconds, no timeouts. Slip screen should get us a lot of the yards back, if not a whole lot more. First down and some breaking a tackle. Hurrying back up to the line. Skellington working against the clock. Zero was decked. Thankfully, he got us the first First and goal, and now Myers looking to put this name in the history books. Let's go. Navy is not going to forget the night their ship was sunk. You have Michael Myers to thank. Got right down to the wire on that last second, broke a couple tackles, plunged forward. Somehow that turned into our scariest game yet. Navy gave us a run. Jack the Pumpkin King and Halloween Town University on to the next. Now number one in the nation, the only undefeated team up here, Ohio State, Penn State, Clemson, Utah, Michigan, SMU, Iowa State, whoever you want to name, they got at least one loss. Kentucky Wildcats have the displeasure of facing us next and a mystical blue mist envelops the stadium, creating a spooky atmosphere that only Big Blue can bring. This certainly is not Navy, but 39 points is is gonna feel a lot the same and how much we're gonna have to overcome. Let's see what we got first play here. Skellington out to his right, back to his left, did a circle around the big man. There we go. This kind of deficit needs a spark. We got blocks all day long here and he's just gonna take off himself. Spin. Let's go ahead and sauce one up. I think Zero had a step and he finishes. Not the only one good at finishing. Bada bing, bada boom touchdown not really worried about it haven't been worried about it all game long when we got zero absolutely feasting potentially game stealing clamp job right here if we can stop him on fourth down that will do it ghost casper the friendly ghost here getting the big play where was he throwing it that also doesn't like vandegrift is it did we hurt the quarterback along the way all we gotta do is hold the lead but i think i'm gonna go for one more what do y'all say handoff myers to the outside just ran past everyone and see you Later, good night. On the road, no problem. 50 to 39 back-to-back -back wins. That seven touchdown performance firmly places Jack Skellington back at the top of the Heisman watch list. Also up here is Morton, Isaiah Bond, Ty Thompson out of Tulane. That's interesting. Avery Johnson, no surprise here. Go Cats. Auburn ranked 11th in this game of the week. It's the Tigers. Auburn up 42-0. We're back on our home turf. This is going to be our toughest challenge yet. They're ranked number 11, and they've unleashed a full spec blast of screams and thrills that we're gonna have to go up against we're eight steps of the way towards saving halloween and it thinks we got at least what four more regular season steps two to three postseason steps meaning we're winding down the regular season and the intensity is about to go up a whole nother notch with playoffs looming. Jack Skellington goes down there not realizing we're out of timeouts fellas let's hurry up let's snap this thing sling a quick one and yikes he pulled that out of his reach in these games you definitely don't want to botch any opportunities you got getting halted at the gate is not a feeling we want to experience plus i mean come on now we're playing for halloween as a whole there's a lot at stake how else will you get an excuse to dress up as something different eat candied apples candy corn carved pumpkins i mean come on if we don't win the natty it's doomed which is why jack skellington is on such a mission a campaign to get her done onward towards the comeback myers towards the house the footage you're watching is starting to become a little bit repetitive you know we just keep winning the odds have been stacked against us but we keep coming through just like this so hey what we're gonna do in the next couple of games here the regular season is just show you the key highlights because we've successfully raised the challenge level and come through every Every time right now i think it's time for our boys to take their rightful place at the throne get in there baby crazy how on heisman mode with a stack team it still feels like rookie mode still have yet to get a kickoff return touchdown maybe this is our chance hampton on the return scratch that spooky sponge got some work to do a lot of work to do but like i said cue the greatest hits the highlight highlights from how we can come back and win this game that was all 
simply part of plan. We had to take a 30, 40 yard loss just for zero to cash it in. Correction, fourth and goal at the one and Michael Myers didn't get it. Can't be having that nonsense on the road to a comeback and you can't have that nonsense either. What the heck's going on? Need at least two touchdowns here with just three minutes remaining. Still got our timeouts. There's one and we'll still need to come back down the field. I guess perfect quarterbacks still make mistakes. What in the world did I just witness right there? 99, all those things for what? This is really, and I mean really not the time to be messing around. Flag on the play, Frankenstein dropped it. Come on, yo, that flag better be against them. They saved us. This actually could be it. And this is scary right now. We're taking sacks too. I don't really know how to dissect this game right now. We're getting beat by Arkansas. And there are picks all over this field. That time we got hit while trying to throw it and it got deflected into the defender's arms. You're telling me we're gonna lose a game. Be unthinkable. An upset like I never could have imagined. Unranked Arkansas comes into Halloween Town and beats us. The ghouls, the goblins, the zombies are all rolling in their grave, man. That is unacceptable. Like zero, a receiver came up with zero today and zeros on that man's stat line. This is a flop truly scaring the home fans and leaving halloween in the balance what a spectacular defeat the resume looked flawless until this blemish against arkansas the haunted swamp the gators are a scary batch it's raining there's gator infested waters all around this stadium yeah i mean you can't tell me the haunted swamp don't got it See, that's what i'm saying the holding call the swamp in general they just play extra tough out here until you feed my frankenstein hitting jack skellington and hurting him still slung that bony rod into the end zone touchdown shaking off that upset because that was heartbreaking we're gonna have to steamroll some gators mo bamba blaring all the ghouls goblins zombies they're just eating it up and i don't know what that was skellington dialing it fourth and 23 hit it up the middle Frankenstein and a flag on the play. Refs have been calling us a lot of phantom fun stuff. Good to see them on our side for once. Thanks to their contributions, the drive continues and the good times are gonna just keep on rolling. John Wick. And with this play, here comes the lead. And on this play, here comes the lead. Scratch that. And on this play, I repeat, this play, here comes the lead. Zero. Scratch that. On this play, probably not. Wow. Haunted Swamp coming alive, getting misty here. Defense doing us a service, but we're just shooting ourselves in the foot, which is exactly why I turn to Michael Myers in times like this. Breaking the man, maybe do a spin around number 20. That was so unnecessary. I definitely was going for a highlight clip, wasn't I? Ref starting to bite, holding call after holding call. I don't know what to believe. A touch out of bounds. After further review, they have determined this was a touchdown and Darth Vader's gonna pick it up and eat two. We got out of the swamp alive, 41-30. Final regular season game. The Trojans are on deck. 0-0 zero, zero with 19 touchdown catches on the year. And I definitely expect the show to continue in this one. There's number 20. Seriously, it makes sense why that is his number one target. What doesn't make sense is how quick we're coming back. Not even the end of the second quarter here and we have tied up this game. USC is going to pound town. Sometimes trick or treat means a trick. Not always gonna give him a treat. Jack Skellington's completed five passes. Four of them have gone for touchdowns. What's it gonna be all game long? This has been a treat of a game. Jack Skellington scrambles out to his left. Does he have what it takes to get in there, big man? Stretch your seven foot bony frame. That's a tasty treat. When our seven foot bonerific quarterback is playing, these are the type of results you can expect when he's on his A game. 62 big ones, it was all the Wrapped up. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for into the playoffs. 52 more big ones. SEC championship. Check the box. Skellington led his boys right past the Gators again. And here we go. The moment we've been waiting for. Minus the SEC title celebration, of course. We got a lot more to celebrate for here in a moment. Ain't no way they chose Kid Club Nick for the Heisman. Seriously. Like, am I going to have to look at the stats of every single one of our players and say not one of them deserved it more? Best defensive end of the year. Honestly had a case for Heisman. Best interior lineman. Wow. Okay. That was it. 
it. No quarterback of the year, obviously, because Club Nick, no Michael Myers, no zero. Are we good? Something went wrong here. I mean, yes, yeah, 16 ins is not good. 58 touchdowns. Same with Michael Myers not getting running back of the year. 11 touchdowns. Oh, geez. Jack added another 10 on the ground. So 68 touchdowns. Frankenstein for 1,000 yards, even 14 touchdowns. Zero had 21 of them bad boys. Absolute dogs. So many good ones. Joker and Burglar. Boogeyman. Dracula. Ghost. Sally. All getting in on the fun. I hate to change up what's been working, but one of the spooky twists is about to hit. Jack Skellington's not available for the game, so it's up to Darth Vader. And yes, for this first game, we need to go down 35 points. Through so many highlights, blood, sweat, tears, an unfortunate upset against Arkansas, we're finally here at the playoffs. This is the final stage, the final frontier, before we can save Halloween once and for all. It's not just 35-0, it's 38-0, and a QB change? Oh man, Darth Vader's got his hands full. He's walked into quite the situation here, but you got Michael Myers in the backfield. You're all right. Arizona Wildcats hold on to this big lead, and I actually feel like Halloween's genuinely here in jeopardy. These guys never cease to amaze. Probably the scariest part of this whole dynasty. So that's absolutely atrocious. Wishful thinking here. We can go ahead, get ourselves back in the right column. Frankenstein. Vader has not been able to do much at all this entire game. Maybe that dot on the run was actually spectacular. It's not going to stand. These dudes are masters of killing my heart on there. That was unfortunate, but Vader can't respond. We'll go ahead and slice him up a little bit more. I think he's got a step. Hampton's going to get us on the board. He was a slow roast. Now he's cooking. Vader to the end zone. If Zero's going to let him down, he's going to go to the ground and pound. Michael Myers won't back down from a fight. Go ahead and pound that thing right up the middle. Yikes, fourth and inches. Let's just dump that sucker out. John Wick cutting it up. Unbelievable. I don't have a counter going, but this is obnoxious. Jeez Louise. Maybe this corner shot will make up for it. Fourth down to Frankenstein. Oh baby, I like it. The way Vader moves on the floor. Oh yes, I like it. Come on and give me some more. Vader's giving his all. I just need to know who else is out here ready to ride here we go vader corner zero tied we can go for the win what a performance here in the second half of this game ready aim and i was gonna fire but maybe vader's got a little bit of a leg game let's see how he's doing on leg day i get it's hard and all being a sith but you can never skip leg day for these exact reasons he does have the arm oh yeah that was nice zoom zoom swinging that lightsaber he's swinging it let's give it up for boogeyman and the boys here fourth and nine have them finish up this game that was hard fought it was brutal Sally, Jack Skellington's girl, man. He's going to do it. Yes, the bowl in the books. We're one step closer to reviving Halloween. A peek at the bracket shows the final four. We got Michigan, Utah, and Clemson up top. Vader came out swinging in this one. Last game, he was a little rusty. This time, he wasted no time at all. Two touchdowns. We're already coming back from that 35-0 deficit. Orange Bowl, we're going to squeeze him up. I mean, come on now. Down 35 zip in the first quarter and getting three touchdowns right back. Seriously, talk about a warm up game that was needed make it 28 points in the first quarter i said make it 28 points in the first quarter looks like we're well on our way to a national championship and that means the spookiest challenge of all next he's even got his halloween paint ready to go just gotta get in and through michigan the way darth vader's playing i can easily see why he was actually a preseason heisman favorite with so many quarterbacks electric performance right now being hindered by so many flags on the field looking to do this one here for jack skellington and crew so much speed for dodge tucking and weaving dodging through this time it finally goes our way this time, baby, I'll be bulletproof. Look at Vader, man. So inspirational. 63-35. The time has come. The spookiest part of the dynasty. We have to shrink our offensive line into an atrocious unit. And better yet, in this nightmarish matchup against the Utah Utes, we're going to have to go down by 50 points in the national championship game. Not only are we without Jack Skellington, not only do we have to deal with annoying phantom penalty calls, not only... Do we have an atrocious offensive line now? We also have to deal with phantom possessions times 50. The 50 piece. The 50 piece McNugget meal all up on us. Whether it's 49, 52, any way we can get the score there is good enough. But this is going to be 
one heck of a test. Utah might not be part of the SEC. They too are not here to have fun. They want to abolish Halloween, and this is how it starts. We give them the touchdown. They build their ego, their cushion, their fans go crazy. It's just all part of the plan. But you know what's gonna be bittersweet? Restoring glory. And this is the right crew to do it. Just need to take it one play at a time, because I can tell Utah is gonna be vicious. <sighs> How was that Vader impression? I hope his gameplay is a whole lot better than that impression because we need some splash plays and we need it now. Zero. Lightsaber duel. So far, Utah is winning right now. This has been a scrap. Vader's gonna get us another. Utah's out for blood. They actually got a touchdown. Most teams do not score us, but clearly most teams are not like Utah national championship caliber. We need to fight extra hard this game. I want a battle there, Frankenstein. Okay, okay, we take that, and then we'll go over the middle, take that. With that fog of war ability too, where we can only choose the same play one time an entire game, it's gonna get even harder and harder to find the right things. Clock is chewing. Skellington came back in when we needed him most. Playing through his brittle, broken bones, he's actually looking to be a hero here. And Captain Hook, the newest villain to check in the game, is on the outside. I'm hoping he can show me one heck of a performance because he's got speed and he's got a hook and he's not afraid to use it. This is actually super scary. We've used all of pretty much our availability by that i mean time is probably going to expire game's not over till it's over i'm still expecting a miracle or something crazy like a skellington bomb i'm wondering why we didn't do this earlier i mean skellington's clearly hurt he's got enough juice to still sling that rock i actually don't know if i have enough time here if we get the stop maybe we get the ball back we're up by six look at the sack yes oh my goodness we actually have like 30 seconds right now enough time for a skellington bomb ain't no way an injured jack skellington could finish what he started who else but Mr. Halloween himself? I think that's a linebacker on Captain Hook. A clear mismatch, and Captain Hook's got it, and he's gonna score. Halloween could potentially be saved from the gulag, from the depths of despair. Every ghoul, goblin, and zombie shrieks in excitement. I hope you're shrieking and shrieling for joy in your seat. Just need this extra point, and I'll stop being so cringy. Just this one time. For a stacked team with every odd against them, even down 50 points in the national championship game, Game, this is actually impressive. Maybe not super, super impressive because I could have been just slinging up bombs from the very start. It seemed to have a lot of success here at the end of the game. Oh, no, no, no. This is the last thing we can do. I forgot about the phantom calls. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That roughing the passer call got him pretty much here in field goal range. No, no, no. Another flag. Is that going to hurt us too? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. They're really trying to swindle this game. Different referees clearly have a lot of different money on the winner and conflicting results on who actually is going to win this game. He caught it. No, it's out of bounds, pushed out of bounds, and storming the field. It's the Halloween Town Pumpkin Kings. Halloween has been saved, restored, and Utah could not stop him. This was something special and just a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the twist on this dynasty season. Shout out to the user that created Halloween Town. I'd have to look back at the log and see who did it, but shout out to you. I'll put it in the description if you want to play it. If you have any more fun ideas for a holiday themed college football 25 dynasties, rebuilds, whatever, let me know in the comment section because I'm always open to the fun creative twist just like this one. Keep soaking it up with your boy King Sponge. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you enjoyed and have a happy Halloween. Stay safe out there. There. Until the next one.